I'm Aina Nilauna and this lesson is about the crab apple tree. Now crab apples, that sounds nasty, doesn't it? Yeah. Crabs are a crab apple sweet. Mm. No, they're not, they're really sour. Look at them. Here's the crab apples, tiny little apples on the tree. Yeah. And they were the original wild apples. So the lovely big apples we get in our gardens come from gardeners making the crab apples bigger and sweeter and nicer. So I wonder, I wonder who would like to eat a crab apple? Probably the birds. And the birds like the thrushes and the blackbirds absolutely love apples. So lots of people plant crab apple trees in their garden for the birds. Now I like crab apples because you can make crab apple jelly out of it. Do you ever have crab apple jelly? Oh, it's lovely and pink and it's gorgeous and you have it on your bread and it's really nice. So the, the apples on this are nearly ripe now so they're lovely and yellow and they're quite small, they never grow any bigger than that because these are the original apples, eaten apples in the garden are derived by the gardeners from these small original apples. Now this crab apple tree is really big, look! Cron Fiorul it's called wow. and, and a place in Wexford called Oulart or Oulart is called after this tree, imagine! So it's got its nice leaves on it, it gets, it gets its apple flowers in springtime and the apples are here now in the autumn time waiting for the birds to come and gobble them up. Obviously the squirrels don't like them because they're still here. Yeah. But anyway, you know, it doesn't have to be sweet to be nice. And this is a really, really nice crab apple tree.